It's up, guys. Welcome back to episode two of how to make your brand new creative world look so sick with the build acting white, doing more stuff that's really fun that you cannot do in survival but you can do in creative. So, we're gonna start off with the build. As you can see, I have shadows enabled, I have RTX right now. Which is kind of sick. So what you can do is I recommend this. Up like one block like right here, and go like that, and go like that. Then make this block, and then just do the same thing. Keep doing the same thing over and over again. What you can do, you're gonna make it like this. So you're gonna build up like that, then go like that, like that, and go like that. So now you should have the illusion as some stairs. Why do we want some stairs right now? I'll explain that. As you can see, as we look up like this, we obviously need some stairs to actually do this perfect thing. You can even do it on the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can do it on the other side just by, I'm pretty sure, just going like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Just connecting it to there, like that. So now you have something that does it. So now once you've had that, build like this. So build two blocks right here, then two blocks right here to make this sort of platform. Now what you can do once you have the platform, you're just gonna go like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, then like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, then like that. Just keep breaking this, and then once you've done that, you want to get yourself a water bucket. Once you've gotten yourself the water bucket, just place it all in here. And now you can easily use this as a diving ball. But obviously I'm going to move the water. Will this cover it up? Oh, that covers it up. Why do I keep pressing like the volume key? So now you want to make sure it's like perfectly under, kinda. Like, almost perfectly under. You want to make sure that it's like perfectly under so it looks kind of cool when you're doing it. And then just increase it. Like this. And then boom, it looks super duper cool because now you just built yourself a diving ball. And that's step number one of making your creative world look 
cool. Next one is obviously building a Minecraft character. So obviously like building a Minecraft zombie, building a Minecraft pig, building a Minecraft chicken, anything. And I recommend going to a different dude's channel for this, but I'm just going to teach you guys. Anyways, I'm going to be building a Minecraft creeper. Now you should see that this world is going to look really cool. Oh, it's giving me a Minecraft Dungeons ad. Thanks, Google, for making me have interest-based ads. I'm actually fine with interest-based ads, because it's like, they kind of help you, you know. You know? No. Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video... So for this, to build a Minecraft Creeper, if you want. So once you have the green wool, lime wool, so let me just get the lime. Real quick, guys, this is a very simple tutorial, so lime wool. Completely wrong. Next, you need white wool. Then you need like a like gray wool. This is just easier. You need like gray, like gray wool. As you can see, like gray wool. Now, once you've done that, just close this, and then just place. One black wool wherever you want. So I'm going to place it by the diving board, kind of, kind of lined up. And then place one green wool right next to it, like that. And then some black. piece of black wool and then another green wool and then some more black wool and then some green wool now you should have the bottom of your people So now, place one green wool on top of this one piece of black wool. And then place some black wool on top of this one piece of green wool. And then just keep repeating that. I hate, I, I think I'm putting it in always day. Also, always put your creative world in always day, it kind of helps. That is my stupid always day game. Alright, so guys, always put your Minecraft world onto always day if you guys are doing any of these. 
Now just repeat the same thing. Just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. And now you should have a little something that kind of looks like this. Now place one lime wool, and then some light gray wool. Oh my God. And three pieces of lime wool. And then one piece of light gray wool. And then just make the rest lime wool. And now you should have a little something that kind of looks like this. Now you are making progress into the creep wall. Remember, this is going to be a long episode, the longest episode of Fancy. So you guys are in for a treat. Oh, I dropped one. So now place one green wool on top of this one piece of lime wool, and then some white wool on top of, oh my god, and then this white wool on top of this one piece of light gray wool, then place two pieces of lime wool, one, two, and then one green And one green wool. And then one white wool. And then two pieces of lime wool. Now you should have something that looks a little bit like the Now right here, place two pieces of green wool, then one piece of light gray wool, then one piece of white wool, and then two pieces of green wool, like that, and then two, no not two, and place one light gray wool and then one piece of white wool and you should have oh, some <laughs> that looks like this because I have shadows on if you guys can't tell I'll just prove to you that I have shadows on boom I have shadows on ESBE Place one white wool right here, and then another white wool right here, and then some gray wool right here, and then some green wool, and then an another green wool. And then two pieces of green wool right here. And then one piece of light gray wool right here. 
should have something that looks like this. Now go all the way over here with your white wool. You see why there's this little black block with these with this pattern? A green, lime, green, green, green. Well, you just want to place one white wool, one green wool, one lime wool. I'm trying to press the three. All right, I'm just gonna scroll you. One lime wool. And then two lime wool right over here. And then one green wool right after that. And then four lime green wool right after that. So one, two, three, four. And now we should have a little something that looks like this. Now guys, if you want to make a creeper, I'm going to show you how to make a lot more other stuff. Kind of follow the same pattern. So one, two, three, four. Then go like that. Then obviously one, two, three. And then that, and then that. Just to close the thing off. Just close that little pad off. On the top, place two pieces of lime wool, and then, no, green wool, not lime wool, but one piece of lime wool, then green wool, okay, I don't care, then green wool, then one piece of lime wool, And then green wool and then two pieces of lime wool. You're not trying to drop these, they're dropping themselves. Two, one, and then one, two. And now you should have a little something that kind of looks like this at the back of the people. Now just fill this up with five green wool, so one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Then one lime wool. And then three green wool, I think. Just fill the rest with green wool, I don't care. Now you should have a little something that kind of looks like this. Now 
now place two pieces of green wool right here. Then some lime wool. And four pieces of lime, then three pieces of lime wool. So one, two, three. Then one piece of green wool. And then one piece of lime wool. Now just place a few pieces of lime green wool, so one, two, three, four, four pieces. Then one piece of light gray wool. Then the rest in with lime wool but one. And then that last one's gonna be the light gray wool. I'm not trying to drop it guys. The light gray wool, and you should have a wool something that kind of looks like this. Now go right here, start from whatever side you want. Just start from this side right here, not whatever side you want. I don't know why I said that. And then you see this little green block right here? Go fill that in with one green wool. Except one, but you want to fill that in with white wool. And then fill in the vest with white except two, so except two, and then put one lime wool and then some light gray wool. Now once you've done that, you should have a little something that kind of looks like this. Now go to the other back. Basically just repeat the same thing. So fill in the vest with lime wool but one. And then fill that in with white wool. And then build up with lime green wool. Fill in but two. Fill in every single one but two. That. Hold up, what did he do? So one green wool and then two lime wool. So one green wool and then one lime wool. Now just go to the top, start right from here, and place one white gray wool, two pieces of lime wool, and then white wool, Then white gray wool, then 
line walk. Now fill in the rest with lime green wool, like that, until you get to this one little white block. Fill that white block in with white gray wool. Fill in the rest with lime wool. Now just go all the way to the back. Hold up. What? This side. One, two, three, four. Alright. Go to the back and then extend this by four. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then place one black hole. Well, we haven't used this in like a while. Now place one green wall all the way over to this side. Then black wool. And now green wool. Now black wool. Now green wool, now black wool, now green wool. Now go like this, so start from this black wool, then go like one green wool, a black wool, a green wool, a black wool, a green wool, a black wool, a green wool, a black wool. Now one lime wool right here, and then one white wool right here, then three pieces of lime wool, then one light gray wool, and then two pieces of lime wool. We should have something that kind of looks like this. I know it's starting to look a little weird, not exactly like a creeper right now, but it's going to look like a creeper. Now place one green wool right about here. Then one white wool. Then two pieces of lime wool. 
then one green wool, then one piece of white wool, and now just the rest line wool. Do you have a little something that kind of looks like this? Now, two green wool, right here. Now, one light gray wool. Then, one white wool. Then, two pieces of green wool. Then one light gray wool, and then one white wool. Have something that looks a little bit like this. Let's go like this. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. So just copy what you already did. Now I have something that kind of looks a little bit like this. I'll go all the way over to this piece of black wool, and we're going to extend it by three. So, one white wool, one green wool, one line wool. But we're not doing any of that. We're not building a creeper. You guys can go check out the video on how to build a creeper. Link in the description. We're not doing any of that. It's going to take me longer to destroy it. Than me actually building it. Next one is trolling. So trolling can make your world look pretty cool, but also pretty dumb if you troll a random dude. Or like a whole family. But what can look nice is a little foolish house. That's not even a house after all. <gasps> yes, a house that's not a house. Just kill everybody that walks into it. How do you do this? Just build a little house. So, just build any little house. It's going to be a troll house, right? Now place a door down so people can enter the house. You're going to fool them. It's going to be a little bit of foolishness. Do these exist? Still? Nope. 
We remove those. There's a bottle. I could walk. Nope, it doesn't walk. Can't even place it down. So what you are gonna do is you're just gonna place windows. That's did you remove windows? Alright, so you're just gonna place some glass that's closest you can get to a barrier, and then just build like this so people can still see through the door and you can control them. It looks like, it actually looks like that there's nothing behind the door. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to place some, the rest of the house will just be with windows. So people can see what's in there. So as you can see. Look at this, like look at this. Look at this. This is how to make your world look cool. It's eye looking pretty cool right now. And this is a little troll house. This is what I like to call the trolliest house in the troll universe. Where people troll people on Minecraft, Xbox, Live, Fortnite. Xbox parties, PlayStation parties, basically anything. So we're gonna make the best windows, and this is probably what will happen. So like, look at this, you cannot even see that there's a window right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to break inside to the house. I'm going to obviously place that. And then you're just going to place a chest. And then invite somebody to your world. And put diamonds in the chest. So I'm just going to put a diamond chest plate in the chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a diamond chest plate in the chest. And you know, people love robbing people in Minecraft, so now we're just going to get that diamond chest plate. I'm going to go like right here. And then, bada bing, bada boom. Now they're going to look inside and they're going to see the chest right there. And then they're going to look through the window, see the chest, then they're going to open the door. And you should see that they cannot get in. Switch your game mode to survival even, so it's going to take extra time for them to break the windows. Or switch it to adventure while you're in creative in the in adventure they cannot break the windows to get inside the house
can place a glass. You can't even place anything. But in eventual, while in a creative world and you're trying to place something, it kind of makes a cool effect. If you have your noise muted. So mute your noise and you can see how cool this effect is. But when you unmute your noise, it makes a really annoying noise. Do you mean cows hate? And cows are annoying and get out of my wall. So what you can do is you can re-switch the thing to creative and then they're probably gonna hate you. And then before they can even get to the door, you want to make sure you're in the door, break this down, and then take out the diamond chest plate without them noticing. You can put on the invisibility potion. And now they're going to try and come in, and they're going to break the glass just to rob their little house, and then they're going to see that there's nothing in there but a trash item, which no one even wants. And then they'll probably just block it off themselves, but you can clearly see that it's blocked off like that. A lot of people do that for trolling, but I recommend doing the glass one because it's, like, you can't see glass when it's near a door. It's the thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to make your Minecraft creative world look cool. This was probably the longest Minecraft video I've ever done. Goodbye.